Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are again thankful to God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for sending to us his servants, the prophets, and his servants, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. <clears throat> As we often say, we bear witness there is no God but one. We thank him for his divine guidance. Being God alone, no God with him, no God besides him, no God before him. I'm glad I don't have a God that I need to dust off or brush off or clean up. I'm glad I don't represent a God that need my help. <clears throat> we need his help for all things. Uh, we have been enjoying this conference throughout this weekend thus far. We are certainly grateful for the brothers that have came from overseas and also the sisters, even our sisters, we forgot to mention, that have came from the United Kingdom that are here from High Wycombe, England. We thank God for them as well. <clears throat> to our radio listeners and to our television viewers and to you that are watching over the internet, you're again in tune to the greatest program touching religion that has aired in America. Amen. What make it so great? Our objective and the purpose of God are one. That is to call your attention solely to what is written in the book of scriptures. Jesus taught us to search the scriptures. That's right. For in them you think you have eternal life. Sure. Then Jesus taught us the error. Not knowing the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Nor the power or the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Viewers, we want to encourage you to believe the scriptures. Most of you often use the term the Bible. All right. Believe it. Believe it. For everything in there is correct. That's right. It is the only book in the world that scholars have labored to discredit. Mm -hmm. Because God is accurate in his predictions. Yeah. And man go to school for a couple of years and come out a deeper fool than he went in. Mm -hmm. And now he comes out a certified fool. He actually think that qualifies him to challenge the creator of the world. That's right. This is the arrogance that's in men. You would think the study of science would lead a man to God. Yeah. You would think the study of astrology, studying about Pallades and Orion yeah. and Arcticus. Job is talking about them mm -hmm. and the chambers of the south. Mm -hmm. How the prophets talk about it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof are as the grasshoppers. That's right. You would think studying the things of the world Scientists will recognize there is one God. Mm -hmm. That's right. You would think they would believe such. Right. But they have engulfed themselves in their study. Mm -hmm. And because of their carnal state of being, they rule out the existence of God. That's right. They'd rather believe something stupid, hmm. like a Big Bang Theory, yeah. rather than believe that one source hmm. is responsible for all of creation. That's right. Only God can do something like this. That's right. <clears throat> God is the source of creation, mm -hmm. but God is not a created source. That's right. 
television viewers, it's time now for you to get in trouble. <laughs> come close to your television. Mm -hmm. You come close and you get your wife and get your uh, your husband and your youngins. Mm -hmm. Contact your pastor. Maybe this will help him have a sermon today. Amen. The objective of the truth of God is to never deviate from the scriptures. That's right. When you are ready to be saved and ready to be scripturally right, then you tune into this program. This is that old fashioned holiness. That's right. <clears throat> Nothing. We're not trying to modernize nothing. Mm -mm. You won't find no praise dancers up here. <laughs> you bet not. That's right. <laughs> no. no. You won't find no drunken quartet group here. No, no. You won't find that. No. Mm -mm. You won't find no bling bling preacher here. Oh, uh, no. The only thing we want shining is God's word. That's right. That's it. There is no greater light mm -hmm. than God himself. Amen. To all of our viewers and listeners that are listening in and watching around the world, to our brothers and sisters around the world that are in the prisons, mm -hmm. we have not forgot about you either. That's right. I want to thank you moreover for the hundreds of letters that you constantly send to the truth of God. Continue to write in. Not only you that are in prisons, in the prison institution, but you that are also that are in the prisons of your mind. Right. Uh, we preach to prisoners every day. Mm -hmm. There are some here that were prisoners. That's right. And there are some here that are still prisoners. That's right. Viewer, you're looking at a prisoner. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm a prisoner. You're a prisoner. The church is a correctional facility. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Go ahead. Yeah. That's right. God Almighty is the warden. Mm -hmm. The prophets... And the apostles mm -hmm. are the correction officers. Amen. The members of the church are the inmates. The inmates. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Now is a blessing because God stopped us in mercy. Yes. Amen. When God stopped you, it's because you were a criminal. That's right. Some of you watching me now say, oh, I ain't never been in prison. You were born in prison. Born in there. Mm -hmm. And you're a criminal. You that are watching me now, you're a criminal. That's right. Well, I'm a Christian. You're a criminal. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Anytime you break one law mm -hmm. that God said, right. that's a criminal violation. Criminal violation. That's right. That's true. Listening to me, viewers, get this. That's true. In the book of Romans, chapter 6. Glory to God. Amen. I want to soak you a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the book of Romans, chapter 6, we'll begin in verse 13. Listen. Neither yield ye <coughs> your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Now, when you are yielding your members to do anything that God say don't do. Don't do. That's an unrighteous act. That's right. So if we commit any act that is unrighteous, mm -hmm. we have committed a criminal act. Criminal. Amen. Crime have been committed. That's right. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Mm -hmm. Let me make an example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if God says, thou should not steal? Right. Didn't it say so? That's right. You viewer, and undoubtedly some of you that are here, 
go in the supermarket and get that piece of candy from the open bin. That's right. Come on, preacher. Unwrap it with joy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Toss it in your mouth and continue to go up and down your aisles and keep shopping. That's right. While you're just sucking on your candy. Amen. When you went to the checkout counter, you didn't tell them about it. Right. It's not on your receipt. That's right. Mm-hmm. You stole it. Amen. That's right. You're the criminal. That's right. Thou shalt not steal. I don't exempt that little piece of candy, that little bazooka gum. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God says. In Romans 13 and verse 9, thou shalt not steal. Now, I want to take my time and soak you. Yes. Viewers, <coughs> we make the mistake as a people of watering down God's law. That's right. In other words, we reconstruct the law mm -hmm. to make it fit us. That's right. We don't want it to offend us. Mm -hmm. We want it to fit us. Fit. That's right. Viewers, mm -hmm. this is how the devil used preachers. Right. To reconstruct scripture. Mm -hmm. And in their subtle way, move them from the original content. That's right. And integrate philosophy and theology and all type of artificial persuasion mm -hmm. to water down the truth, the truth. That's right. that God Almighty have ordered. That's right. So they try to weaken the commandment. That's right. Thou shall not steal. steal. Mm -hmm. And because that commandment been watered down so much, mm -hmm. your pastor, Reverend Thief. He have his $10 prayer line, $1,000 prayer line, $100,000 prayer line. That's right. And he got you believing the more money you give, then God will do something for you. That's right. That's right. This is how men misuse the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture that says money answer for all things. That's right. So the devil get in his agent <laughs> and corrupt, corrupt the words, the meaning of God. That's right. That the scripture that says money answer for all things, but yet you have to explain that scripture because all things cannot be bought. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The apostles. Mm hmm. Went down to Samaria. That's right. And uh, there was a eunuch. A eunuch. Reading the scriptures. And, the and mm -hmm. while he was reading the scriptures, the Holy Ghost moved on one of the messengers named Philip. Philip. That's right. Well, I'm drawing eye to the chariot. Mm -hmm. Why Why you want me to get close, Lord? <clears throat> Somebody's doing something dangerous. Right. right. Read it. But... What, what could that be, Lord? Reading the scriptures. Reading. That's right. Viewers, do you know it's dangerous to read the Bible? Amen. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's dangerous mm -hmm. reading the Bible? That's right. Because to read the words of God without understanding... Mm -hmm. You might step in and make your own conclusion. That's right. Then the devil come along and guide you in a direction that God did not intend for you to go. In the book of Acts chapter 8 and at verse 28. Listen good. Was returning and sitting in his chariot read Isaiah the prophet. He read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip. Now it takes God to talk to the messenger. Yes. <laughs> Notice the Holy God talked to Philip and told him, draw not to the chariot. And Philip ran thither to him. What? Philip ran thither to him. Viva, glory to God, we're running after you. Oh, yes. You're doing the same thing that the eunuch was doing. Reading. 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 My God, you read so much, 
That's what made you put women in the pulpit. That's right. You read too much. That's right. You read without understanding mm. caused you to bow to three gods. Amen. Too much reading. Too much. That's too right. much reading made you divorce your wife. That's right. No red check God. That's right. Too much reading. That's right. Amen. Amen. Too much reading made you have an all white church. Oh yes. Too much reading. Heard him read. Too much reading made you had an all black church. That's right. Too much reading. That's right. A lot of the reading, but no understanding. Amen. Too much reading got you bowing and praying to a statue. Mm -hmm. Got you tapping your head and your chest and your gut. That's right. A lot of reading. Uh, mm -hmm. But the book says, mm -hmm. understand. What thou readest? I want to run to you, America. Philip ran to it to him. My God, I want to run to you. And heard him read. I hear you reading. That's right. And we're running to the world. Amen. Because you're reading too much. That's right. Come on and say what the Bible says. Give attentive to reading. Mm. That's true. That's true. But you got to make that harmonize mm. with, with all thine getting. Get understanding. Get an understanding. That's right. That's right. Reading without understanding is detrimental. Yes, it is. That's right. That's right. Let me show you the danger of reading. Mm -hmm. Let me make an example. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to his forerunner, mm -hmm. Brother John the Baptist. Right. And John baptized the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Heavens open up. Opened up. And the Holy Ghost or the Spirit of the Living God mm -hmm. descended as a dove. As a dove. And lighting upon, lighting upon them. Right. Then a voice mm -hmm. cried from heaven. This is my beloved son of whom I am well pleased. That's right. Now you do a bunch of reading without understanding. You say Jesus one, right? The dove two, mm -hmm. the voice three. three. That's right. That's the Trinity. Three gods. That's right. Three gods. That's right. Too much reading. Too much reading. So you done something that God told you not to do. You add it. You add it. That's right. And if any man, <laughs> God right. told you don't add. Well, I testify. God say don't add don't and take don't away. take away. That's right. You add it. That's right. John said I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these if things. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. When you add two more gods with the one. Right. There's a plague waiting on you. That's right. That's right. Get Revelation. Revelation. 22 and verse 18. Listen at this. For I testify unto every man. Every man. Every man. That what? That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. You know when you read, you're hearing something. Right. You're listening to the prophets and the apostles. That's right. Now, here's a warning. Mm-hmm. Take heed. Amen. Viewer, you how you read. That's right. That's right. As you can see, your pastor, he had written his sermon out, but that didn't help him. No, didn't he help still him. ended up lying to you. That's right. Take heed. That's right. How you read. That's right. That's right. The scriptures, the Bible, is the only divinely inspired book. Mm -hmm. Now, it wasn't a bunch of men who didn't have nothing to do and was bored from fishing. No, no. Came together and said, I think I'll write a text. <laughs> no, no, no. For the prophecy. They, they didn't do that. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. The word of God says what? For, in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 21. For what? For the prophecy. The prophecy. Hold yeah. it. Mm -hmm. For the message. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. For the message came not. In old times. In the old days. By the will of men. Men but, didn't come along and think, well, I think I just write a Bible. No, no. We ain't got nothing else to do. It's not a natural man in the world will put together a book like this. No, they wouldn't. This book is against man. That's right. Do you hear the word of God talking? For the prophecy came not in old times. The prophecy or the message mm -hmm. didn't come in the old times. By the will of man. By man's opinion. But by man's way of thinking. Mm -hmm. By man's ideology. By man's personal views. But holy men of God. What kind? Holy men. 
holy men. Men whom the Spirit of God was in. That's right. Holy men. Now, viewer, mm -hmm. if holy men mm -hmm. speak as they were moved, as they was moved by the Holy Ghost, by the great God, that's right. Then it take a man today. Mm -hmm. He got to be moved. That's right. By that same God. That's right. To interpret. Mm -hmm. To explain. Mm -hmm. To break down. Mm -hmm. What is written? We have in the same spirit of faith. Do you hear this? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 13. We have in the same spirit of faith. Take heed. Mm -hmm. How you read. That's right. Take heed. How? Listen. Mm -hmm. Take heed. Take heed. Pay attention. That's right. There's a lot of you reading. That's right. You're reading and you're getting happy over what you read. But before you get happy, do you understand it? That's right. Because Jesus said the error. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not knowing the scripture. That's right. No. Nor the power of God. Just a minute. That's right. See, if I read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the power of God. Right. Then I become ignorant to what I read. That's right. Yes, you will. The power of God is the spirit of God that lies within the letter. That's Are right. you getting the old That's man? Right. Go ahead, brother. The power of God mm -hmm. is the spirit of God that's woven mm. into the fiber that's right. of the letter. That's right. Go ahead, brother. To go into the letter mm -hmm. without the spirit mm -hmm. is equivalent mm -hmm. to never opening the Bible up. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. If the spirit of God mm -hmm. is guiding the minister, mm -hmm. then God will guide him in the right direction not to rely on supposition no. not to rely on no. seminary school trash that's right that's right did you hear what i said that's right you fellas go to seminary school for what for what mm -hmm. school don't make a preacher no no he's got to make a preacher that's right that's right spending all your money hmm. To take some Bible courses. Amen. Take your money and go shopping. Don't That's you right. know the country is in a recession? Amen. Take Amen. your money and pay your light bill. That's right. Buy some milk for your baby. That's right. What? Glory to God. For what man? Listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. What man? Know with the things of a man. Do you hear that? That's right. What man know the thing of a man? Save the spirit of man which is in him. Save the spirit of man that's in him. Even so. Even so. The things of God. The things of God. Know with no man. No man. Now to my seminary school fellows that are watching. Mm -hmm. You have your PhD. That's right. You have your DD. Mm -hmm. And now you are taking extended courses. Amen. You drop the title bishop, pastor, yeah. elder, mm -hmm. minister. Mm -hmm. So some nut can call you doctor. Doctor. That's right. If you're a doctor, why can't you perform divine surgery? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Now, a heart surgeon, he got to know where to make the incision. Yes. And he got to know what instrument to use. That's right. That's Are right. you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. The preacher is a divine scriptural surgeon. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they have to know exactly where to cut. Where to cut. That's right. The prophet. Go ahead. And they have to know where to cut mm -hmm. the apostle. Go ahead. So it can be rightly divided. divided. That's right. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. When he cut the prophets, mm -hmm. it can't weigh more. No. Than the apostles. That's right. You have to rightly divide, divide it. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, get what I'm telling you. That's right. He got to be a divine surgeon. Mm -hmm. Using the scriptures, right. he must be a divine chemist. That's right. That's right. Knowing how to mix mm -hmm. scripture. Mm -hmm. That's right. Where the words of the prophet is never in contradiction with the apostles. That's right. But the word preached. Now listen to what I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Hard head. Go ahead. Anytime you come out mm -hmm. 
reading the Bible mm -hmm. and yet you have a belief mm -hmm. and that belief is not according to the Bible, Bible. Mm -hmm. you don't know how to mix scripture that's right the purpose of the Bible is to run the whole church yes. amen why you listen to what I'm telling you that's right the entire body of Christ mm -hmm. is to be ran by the scriptures. Amen. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. The rules, regulation, mm -hmm. statute, law, right. the entire setup mm -hmm. of the church is to be governed right. by the scripture. Same Don't Lord. you hear Isaiah talk about Jesus mm -hmm. and said the government shall, shall be upon his shoulder. His shoulder. In order to have a government, you got to have law. That's right. To govern that body. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Now viewers, what law <laughs> is governing your organization? Amen. Many of you organizations have a rule book, a disciplinary book. Nothing wrong with that. Right. As long as those rules mm -hmm. don't contradict the Bible. That's right. Those rules cannot contradict the letter. That's right. Those rules must coincide with the letter. With the letter. That's right. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. How you read. Mm -hmm. Take heed. When I read the word of God, mm -hmm. I should not come back. With a lie in my mouth. No, you shouldn't. That's right. When I read that Deborah was a judge, I shouldn't come back and say Deborah was a bishop. It's a bishop. No, you shouldn't. That's right. That's right. read too much. Amen. Amen. You don't have no understanding. No understanding. When I read that the Apostle Paul laid hands on Timothy mm -hmm. and told him, do the work of an evangelist, mm -hmm. I shouldn't come back and say Timothy was the first bishop in the church. No, no you shouldn't. That's right. I got the stick. That's right. Glory to God, are you listening to what I'm telling you? In the book of Luke chapter 8 and verse 11. You got to stick to what's written. Right. Now, the scripture says this, mm -hmm. the former treaties. Mm -hmm. Have I made? Have I made? Oh, Theophilus. Oh, Theophilus. Of all that Jesus. Of all that Jesus began, began both to do. Both to do. And teach. Not only did he teach the apostles, mm -hmm. but he demonstrated things to them. That's right. Want to make sure they get the teaching right. That's right. Both to do. And teach. And teach. He was a doer and a teacher. Yes, he was. That's right. When he taught something and you have to know how to get it done, he showed you. Amen. Both to do and teach. Mm -hmm. How long did he do it? Until the day in which he was taken up. Hold it. He was teaching them. Mm -hmm. Even when he was going up. Until the day. Until the day. In which he was taken up. Until the day. Once right. you hear the apostle say, he go, we got to pull off this tabernacle. Mm -hmm. As Christ has showed, showed me. That's right. So the change was a lesson. Mm -hmm. Letting right. the church know we're not going to remain the same. That's right. But we shall be changed. Be changed. That's yes, right. Until the day in which he was taken up. After that. He threw the Holy Ghost. What did he do? Had given commandments. Wait unto, a minute. How did the apostles get the lesson? He threw the Holy Ghost. How did they get the lesson? Through the Holy Ghost. Why are you in seminary school, Mr. Reverend? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Many of you that's watching me now in Africa, mm -hmm. Europe, Argentina, mm -hmm. Malaysia, yeah. China, yeah. Japan, Cuba, Canada, throughout the Soviet Union, yeah. thousands of letters I get from ministers that send me copies of their credentials. That's right. PhD this, DD that. Mm -hmm. Atomizing to me their study course. Right. Glory to God. Amen. All you did was send me recycled trash. That's right. That's right. Do you have the Holy Ghost? That's it. That's it. That's right. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe. Since you believe. Since you believe. Have you received? If you are a believer, mm -hmm. do you have the Holy Ghost? Do you have the Holy Ghost? 
That's right. You men are backward. Mm -hmm. You run the Bible Institute in your country that's owned by a church in America. That's right. That's right. And because you have such admiration for this wicked country, mm -hmm. you have such admiration for the TV evangelists that you see from America. That's right. You want to talk like them. Amen. You want to sound like them. You want to act like them. That's right. Never stop to consider. Mm -hmm. Do they have the Holy Ghost? They have the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. You think because they have a mega church, mm -hmm. that means they got the Holy Ghost. No. Uh, no. You think because they drive a Rolls Royce mm -hmm. or got a mansion, right? That or got private jets. That's right. That means they are blessed. Mm -hmm. No. Oh no. No no. Hallelujah. No no. No. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. God don't care about your jet. That's right. God don't care about your car. That's right. God don't care about your bank account. Thus saith the Lord. God wants you to have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Take God. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have you received? Have you received the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. Since ye believe. Since. Glory to God. Since ye believe. All that reading you're doing. Mm -hmm. We're running to you. Running to you. That's right. You're doing all this reading. Mm -hmm. Studying. Mm -hmm. So many PhDs and DDs of religion yes, yes. write books and then send it to me right, yeah. with a letter attached. Right. Dear Pastor Jennings, I wrote this book. We ask you to read it and then give us your approval. Let us know what you think. I think nothing of it. Nothing of it. That's right. I believe what's already written. That's right. That's right. Whatsoever things are written aforetime is written, written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures have might have hope. That's right. I believe what's written here. That's it. That's it. Go ahead, brother. America. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you preachers that is in this country. Go mm ahead, -hmm. You have your Bentley. Yeah. You have your rose. Mm -hmm. You have your mansion. That's right. But do you have God? Do you have God? That's right. You may say, look at my building. Mm -hmm. Look at all these people. Right. That's proof mm -hmm. that I have God. Yes. That is not proof. No. Jesus had 12. That's right. That's right. Only 12. Only 12. But truth was among that 12. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You got to have truth there. That's it. That's right. What good is having thousands of followers? Mm -hmm. But yet they are plants that my heavenly father has not, not planted. That's, not planted. That's right. What kind of greenhouse yes. do you have? That's right. Go ahead, brother. What kind of plants Go ahead. is coming out of that house? That's right. That's right. Yet I had planted. Do you hear the word? In Jeremiah chapter 2 and at verse 21. It is written. Yet I had planted thee. God says, I have planted thee. A noble vine. A noble vine. Holy. What, what kind of vine? Holy. What kind of plant did he plant? Holy. Baptist. Holy. Presbyterian. Holy. Pentecostal. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Non-denomination. Holy. Five baptized. Holy. Christian science. Holy. Lutheran. Holy. Episcopalian. Holy. Catholic. Holy. Mormon. Holy. Muslim. Holy. Holy. Jehovah Witness. Holy. Amen. What Amen. kind of plant did God plant? Holy, a right seed. What, what kind of seed is a holy plant? A right seed. Everything else is a wrong seed. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Do you hear what the word of God said? Yet I had planted thee. I, now, 
The Lord said, mm. not Pastor Jennings. No. The Lord said, yet I I had planted thee. I let you know he's a husband man. That's right. He's the planter. That's right. Go ahead, brother. He's the planter. Go ahead. That's right. He said, I, I had planted have thee. planted thee. A noble vine. A noble vine. Holy. Holy. A right seed. A right seed. How then? Oh, now you're asking a question. How then? I want to ask you, viewer. Mm -hmm. How then? Art thou turned? You have turned. Into the degenerate. You plant. have become a degenerate plant. Of a strange vine unto me. You grew the wrong way. Through the wrong way. That's right. That's right. Look at what have happened to churches. Yes. Go ahead. Look at what have happened to religion. That's right. Truth been planted by God. Right. Truth been ordained by God. That's right. But men have come along. Go ahead. And artificially plant things. That's right. Go ahead. Now the followers mm. are the victims. Amen. Amen. The Lord says, I, I had planted, have thee. planted thee. A noble vine. <laughs> he planted something right. Right. That's right. But men have went to seminary school mm -hmm. studying theology. That's that's it. That's right. Studying philosophy. Philosophy, that's right. So when you study philosophy and theology, beware. Now you set up Bible schools. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Which is an extension in educated lives. That's all. That's right. You feel proud. Mm -hmm. The day you graduate. Amen. You got your little cheap cap and your baggy gown. That's right. And Dr. Reverend Lucifer mm -hmm. become the spokesperson for that day. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And he tell you you finish your course. Mm -hmm. Now you are a doctor. A doctor. So you take bishop off your building mm -hmm. or pastor off your building. Mm -hmm. And then put up doctor. Doctor. That's right. I heard one man, a Muslim minister, mm -hmm. he said the prophet title or the title prophet was too cheap for him. Uh, my Lord. He said he's bigger than that. Mm. My Lord. The title prophet, mm -hmm. he said it's too cheap for him. My Lord. It wasn't too cheap for Jesus. No, it wasn't. So how is it too cheap for you? That's right. God has no, said. No, it's the other way around. You are too cheap to have the title. That's right. That's right. That's right. Viewers, don't get caught up in no preacher because he's called doctor this or evangelist the other or apostle this or prophet that or bishop the other. That's right. That's right. Except the Lord build the, build the house. Build the house. Labor in vain. You men mm -hmm. that call yourself pastors, yes. shepherds. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Are you shepherding God's flock? Yes. That's right. Or are you leading the people for your personal gain? That's right. That's right. Woe be unto the pastor. Glory to God. In Jeremiah 23 and at verse 1. It says what? Woe be unto the pastor. Woe. We're running to you. Amen. Do you hear the word talking? Woe be unto the pastor. Woe unto the pastor. That destroy. And scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith, saith the Lord. This is what they make this preaching thing is. Mm -hmm. A fellow will get upset with a bishop. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And then when he run out, he go home. Yeah. And then he'll call a bunch of other fellas who got the same feelings he got and then start a church. That's right. And then somebody in his house get upset with him. Right. And he go run out, go rent a hotel room, he start a church. That's right. Then someone get upset with him. Mm -hmm. 
they go run out, go rent the YWCA, and they start a church. Amen. And it just keep going on. Just Keeps like going. You just can't open up churches like you open up a gas station. That's right. That's right. This is not a game. No, no. And until men respect mm -hmm. the danger yeah. that's right. That's right. that is involved, that's right. You won't have men who respect the danger rushing for our nation. Amen. That's right. See, some of you watching me now, you've been ordained by women. My Lord. Been ordained by a woman preacher. That's right. You ain't no preacher. It's not a preacher. God ain't never, never. sent a woman no. that lay hands on you no. and ordained you. No way. Not once. No, no. Amen. That's right. Some of you say you're a preacher only because you got a license. Mm -hmm. License don't make you a preacher. No. no. You can have a license that can't drive. That's right. That's right. You got to have God in you. That's it. When God is in the messenger, mm -hmm. then he have a justifiable message. That's right. And then God can give the increase. Mm -hmm. So the plants mm -hmm. can grow. Can grow. That's right. You see, when God give the increase, the plants mm -hmm. that is in the church, mm -hmm. light shine upon them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They lift their head when the sun shine upon them. Yeah. And the light of God come within them and they grow. That's right. That's right. Fitly framed together, groweth mm -hmm. as a holy temple unto the Lord. I have planted. But the condition of the church, mm -hmm. you people right. that are watching, mm -hmm. especially you that brag about the title apostolic, yes. you are a dying people. That's right, degenerate. You have become mm -hmm. a degenerate plant. Degenerate. Let me show you how degenerate you have become. Teach, mm brother. -hmm. You argue over stupid things like a church name. All right. That's right. That's right. There is only one name that identifies us. Amen. The name of the Lord Jesus. That's it. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever you do. If I say that Church of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The church by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. The church from, from. the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. The church in, in. the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's whatever you do. Take it down to the south. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Whatsoever you do. Bring it on. We become degenerates. Yes. yes. That's right. Go ahead. And some say, oh, if you ain't got the exact name I got, you ain't in the body. In the body. So what the bishops are doing, mm -hmm. they have made their organization mm -hmm. the church. That's right. No man's organization is the church. That's right. The church is bigger than an organization. Oh, yes. Bigger. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. I got the church covered the four corners of the yes, earth. That's right. He said he going to present to himself yes. a glorious organization. Glorious church. No, a glorious organization. Glorious church. Glorious. Church. He's coming for a glorious church, a glorious people. Glorious church. And listen at what I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Your apostle mm -hmm. cannot mm -hmm. be the chief apostle. That's right. No man That's right Can be the chief apostle That's right The only one that was the chief Was Jesus Jesus That's right Peter, James and John Was called chiefest Apostles, Apostles Meaning they were in reputation That's right I am not the chief apostle No Take it off 
No, no. No, no. No. Oh, no. I only can be an apostle. That's right. But I can't be the chief. That's right. No, no. You come along and say you're chief now, you're too late. Oh, yeah. Chief already was here. Title already taken. Already taken. Title's already taken. Pay attention mm -hmm. how you read. Take heed how you hear. Hallelujah. Rules and doctrine. Right. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Rules differ. That's right. Doctrine don't change. That's right. That's right. Rules and many organizations mm -hmm. have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. And because others are not doing what another organization have done, that organization frowned upon them. Right. There are differences of administration. Do you hear it? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 5. Do you hear it? And there are differences of administration. Now, there's difference mm -hmm. in administration. But the same Lord. But even though you may differ in administ ad ad administrative rules. Right. But those rules will not conflict with the doctrine of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Some of you mm -hmm. say uh, the women, they can't be saved if they wear more than five colors. Mm -hmm. If you wear more than five colors, you are the devil. My Lord. They say the brothers, mm -hmm. you only can wear suits with no print. Right. If you got a stripe, you go to hell. If you got a plaid, you go to hell. Mm -hmm. And if your sock is any other color but white, you go to hell. My Lord. All right. Mm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, "The poor, right. you have which always." always. What about if a poor man all he got is a pair of plaid pants and a striped shirt and no shoes right. and no socks? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna go to hell barefooted? My Lord, pay attention. Pay attention of what you put people in hell for. That's right. That's right. Keep running, brother. Run to him. Run good. I want to run to you. Run to you. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Some of you won't accept me because there's a stripe in my shirt. There's a print. My Lord. In my tie. My Lord. And you said he's a false prophet. A false prophet. Because a man of God mm -hmm. won't wear a print. Mm. Then what was Joseph? That's right. He had a coat of many colors. That's right. Run, Go ahead, brother. I want to run to you. Run to you. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Rules and doctrine. Mm -hmm. Doctrine is written divinely inspired law. That's right. That's doctrine. That's right. Yes. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. Can't change it. Mm -hmm. You must repent. That's right. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You must receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Right. Jesus Christ is the one God. That's right. That's right. Get into doctrine. Mm -hmm. Rules. Mm -hmm. Service start at 11.30. All right. All right. That's right. Rules. Men on one side, women on the other. Right. That's right. That's rule. Differences of administration. That have nothing to do with doctrine. No. We separate the brothers from the sisters for respectable purposes. That's right. You know, because there's some women come in and may not be born again. And there may be a brother who mm -hmm. may try to be born again. Mm -hmm. And we don't want them to have no earthly distraction. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. That's right. I want to run to you. Run into you. Mm -hmm. 
Will you go to hell if you're not separated? No. No. No, no. It's just a rule. Just the rule. It's not doctrine. That's right. When you come in here, no usher ain't gonna argue with you because you wanna sit with your man or sit with your go ahead and sit. That's right. Go ahead. We don't compel you. No. no, no. When guests come in, they want to sit together, fine. Mm -hmm. Sit together. Long as you get the word of God in you. That's it. That's right. Differences of administration. Difference mm -hmm. of administration. But the same Lord. Glory to God. And hold it. Mm -hmm. Difference in administration. Rules. Right. Rules. When I go to other parts of the world, mm -hmm. I'm exposed to various cultures. Mm -hmm. Our brothers and sisters in India mm -hmm. are not a wealthy people. Right. 99.9 .9 of them, when they come to service, mm -hmm. there's no shoes on their feet. That's right. Barefooted. Right. Some just have flip flops. Mm -hmm. Some don't even have that feet dirty. I can't tell them you're going to hell because you can't afford a shoe. No. Jesus said the poor you have with you always. always. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Some of your organizations said if a woman's stocking is not cotton, yeah. she's lost. lost. <laughs> My Lord, a cotton stock can have nothing to do with salvation. That's right. It was a rule. It was a rule. But what about those who can't even afford a sock? That's right. That's right. Would you tell them they're going to hell mm -hmm. because they can't afford a sock? My Lord, rend your heart and not your garment. Do you hear the word talking? In Joel chapter 2 and at verse 13. And rend your heart. Rend. You see in the old time you had to tear your garment and cover yourself in sackcloth and ashes. That's right. Which shows humility. Mm -hmm. But now God is taking the church to a higher level. That's right. He wants to push aside the formality, the shadow. shadow. And now he wants them to demonstrate the good thing to come. That's it. That's right. He said what? Rend your heart and not your garments. Rent your heart. Mm -hmm. He wants your heart torn. That's it. You see, you preachers got it backward. Mm -hmm. You try to get the people dressed right and then save afterward. That's it. No. no. The heart got to get right first. That's right. That's right. They let modesty fall in place. Mm -hmm. That's right. When a sinner come in the church, when the word is being preached, mm -hmm. and that woman come in with pants, let her come in. Right. Don't throw her out. That's right. You don't change the sermon and pick her out. Pick her out. And start now just talking about her. Go ahead. You're not in the spirit. That's right. Just focus on the word. That's it. Let the word clean her up. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Rend when the heart. word clean her up, then she'll make a change That's from it. the heart. That's it. That's right. Glory to God. Rend your heart and not your God. Difference. Mm -hmm. Of administration. Of administration. Differences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. When I go to Africa, I see all kind of prints down there. Mm -hmm. Big circles, big plans. Yellow, orange, they, they, they come into the house of God and whatever they got. Whatever they have, that's right. Don't have much, mm -hmm. but worshiping God in spirit. And in truth. And in truth. And in truth. If I was arrogant and self-centered mm -hmm. and was ignorant of the book, I'd go put him in hell. Yes, you would. That's right. Because they don't, they can't afford a stocking. Right. Or can't afford a shoe. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Difference. Differences of administrations. Differences. So what happened among you so-called apostolics? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. You say you will be the colors of God. This is what they said. That's what the they colors say. of God is white, mm -hmm. black, brown, 
gray and blue. Mm. Those are the colors of God. Colors of God. No, they are the colors of your organization. That's right. It's like a university, a football team. They got their own colors. Amen. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. You say the colors of God? Mm. What about the rainbow that appeared in Noah's day? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. And that was handmade by God. That's right. I want to educate you so you can get off your horse of arrogance. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I want to run to you today. Run to you. Heard him read. Huh? That's right. Many lack understanding. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Someone to come in the assembly who don't look like them. That's right. And then church people shot them. Amen. Mistreat them. Yes. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. One woman may come in with earrings. Yeah. Before she walked in, the preacher was preaching about faith. Mm -hmm. But the moment she walked in, mm -hmm. he changed the whole sermon and just talk about her earrings. That's right. See, if he was in the spirit, he'd stay where God have him. That's right. That's right. Because in due time, God would get a hold of her. Amen. Go ahead, brother. There's a time and a purpose for everything under the sun. Under the sun. Everything. That's right. Go ahead. Why you listen to the old man? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and at verse 5. Which say, stand by thyself. This is the how you church people get. Mm -hmm. A woman coming to church with pants on. Mm -hmm. A woman may come in with shorts on. Yeah. She don't know no better. That's right. Don't have nothing on her head. Come on in here. Mm -hmm. Got her lips painted, earrings, big as my jacket. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on in here, girl. That's it. Hair dyed orange, hair dyed red. Mm -hmm. Come on in here. Come on in. That's right. Go ahead. Come on in here. Go ahead. Go ahead. What did he say there? Which say, stand by thy Isaiah 65 and at verse 5. This is the way the church people get. Which? Most of them, and most of them that are like this are apostolic nuts. That's right. That's true. They don't have the spirit of God. No. It's an arrogant, self-righteous spirit. Mm -hmm. Listen how they get. Which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me. Whenever a guest come to the church, it don't matter how they look, make them feel welcome. That's right. That's right. Make them feel welcome. Amen. If a gay man come in here, make them feel welcome. Go ahead, brother. It's good teaching, brother. Are you listening? That's right. Many gay men have came to the meetings, mm -hmm. walking up to the pulpit to shake my hand. Mm -hmm. That's right. I shake their hand. They don't take nothing from me. No. Don't take nothing from me. When guests come to the church and you see guests, greet them first before you greet one another. That's right. Go to the guests first. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, she got on pants. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't all right yourself. Amen. That's right. That's true. Everybody got some cleaning up to do. Everybody. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. The sinner don't come to the church. Mm -hmm. To be judged by the people. No, no, no. The sinner come to the church and let God judge them by the word. That's right. And when the word condemn them and correct them, then the sinner got to say, I am guilty. That's right. That's right. And then when that sinner is ready to move towards God, that's right. you ain't got to bother them. That's right. Send a woman coming to church, earrings, bracelets, ankle chains. The mothers in the church Amen. don't bother them. Amen. No, don't bother them. That's right. Let God clean them up. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. If they take that stuff off because the old mother said, mm -hmm. that don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. <laughs> you will go home and put it back on. That's right. But if God clean you up, you take it off here and leave it off there. That's 
right. That's right. Let God build the house. That's it. That's right. Eh? That's right. If God do it, it's done well. Done well. Amen. Go ahead. Paul said we ourselves were sometimes foolish. Mm -hmm. Disobedient. The seed. The seed. If a person come here and as a guest, you ask them to have something to say. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, church, I'm from Jimmy's Memorial Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Jimmy. That's right. Let them testify how they enjoy the service. That's right. The minister don't come behind them and they want to blast Baptist. No. No. No, no. No. That's right. No. Just focus on the message mm -hmm. so everybody, not just one person, right. everybody can be helped. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, John. Go ahead, go ahead. Let the Lord build the house. The Lord. It's God's house. That's right. That's right. We shouldn't try to build it. No. Let God do it. That's right. And let the using of your instruments be according to the moving of the Holy Ghost. Yes, that's, right. that's it. Go ahead, go ahead. Mine. Put your message aside. Yeah. And talk from the inspiration of the book. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right, sir. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old man? In Isaiah 56 and at verse 7. Mine house shall be called an house of prayer. For God, God making a personal claim here. Mine house. My house shall be called an house of prayer my people. for all people. For who? All people. Let them come in. That's right. Let the word of God clean them up. That's it. Why? They many don't know. Don't know. That's right. Don't know. Yeah. Don't be righteous over much. Over much. That's right. I mean, cause they don't look like you. Mm -hmm. Right. Here, mm -hmm. you tell them. Listen, listen to that. This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 65 and verse 5, which says, Stand by thyself. This is how the attitude of many church people get when a sinner come in. Stand by thyself. Stand by yourself. Come not near to me. Don't come near to me. For I am holier than thou. Go ahead. We need an attitude adjustment. That's right. That's right. Change. Are you listening? Amen. Hmm. This is what the Holy Ghost is itemizing. Which say, stand by thyself. I want you apostolic to get this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stand by thyself. That's the way they get. Amen. You speak to some of them in the street. You say for some greetings or some may say praise the Lord or whatever. And some say, do I know you? Well, I know you don't. What church you go to? Bishop so-and-so. Well, you ain't with me. I ain't speaking to you. You ain't with me. I shouldn't be with you. I should be with God. That's right. And if you're with God and I'm with God and we got the same spirit, then we will be with one another. That's right. That's right. Hmm. You're not one ignoring the book. No, no. You gotta be one according to the book. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. You go to India, and some of the saints in India, mm -hmm. some of the saints in Africa, some of the saints in the Mauritius Islands, mm -hmm. and even some of them in South America. You will see a lot of the women. Most time, you won't see many of the women with a lot of the type of hats you wear. Yeah. A lot of ones in India, they have their head covered a whole different way. Mm-hmm. Whole different way. That's right. Sometimes that thing is so long it come across the head and throw across the back of their shoulders. Mm -hmm. We don't travel around the world to westernize nobody. That's right. We travel around the world to preach God's word to them. That's it. That's right. That's right. Mm hmm. That's true. They don't have to sing the songs that you hear in America. No. 
No, no. But as long as they songs are spiritual. That's right. That's right. It don't have to be the beat no. that you hear in America. No, no. Talk to me. Amen. But as long as it's moving by the spirit. That's right. Glory to God when I go to Africa. Brother, brothers and sisters be moving. Mm -hmm. They be singing about God moving. Right. Just move everybody. Every, that's right. When I go to Jamaica, same thing. Mm -hmm. My God, we was preaching outdoors in Jamaica early this year. Mm -hmm. And we was in, in the town, had an outdoor meeting right in the center of town. Right. Folks was all lined up in the street, and Brother Gary was up on the platform leading the song. When I got there, he was on the platform just singing. <laughs> what do you mean? His culture. Yes. See, a lot of folk don't separate their culture from their music. That's right. That's right. What makes that music? Honorable in the eyes of God is when you sing with, with the, the spirit. spirit. That's it. And sing with, with understanding. That's right. That's right. You blind preachers. You have sat here in America so long, you had no exposure to nothing else. Amen. So if you see something that looks foreign to you, right away you say, that's wrong. No. No, no, no. It's not wrong because you don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. It's only wrong when it violates the book. That's right. That's right. You right. don't violate the book. It's right. It's right. It's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. to go to India mm -hmm. and see them worshiping God one way. one way. But yet it's according to gardeners. Amen. Go to Africa. Mm -hmm. According to gardeners. Jamaica. There's so many different ways. That's right. And you see the different groups and cultures worshiping God in spirit. And in truth. And in truth. You go to England. Mm -hmm. Go to First Church in England. Mm -hmm. They all out of hymn books. Yeah. So and so, 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 so and so, so, so and so, so and so, so and so, so and so. That's so true. To God. Hey! Amen. That's true. That's true. Go ahead. I want to give you an understanding so your mind don't become like so many religious groups. Amen. When your mind becomes closed, yeah. you become borderline to a cult behavior. That's true. God don't set cults. God have a church. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Go ahead brother. Go ahead. Why you listen to the old man? That's right. Viewer, we're going to take God. We want to run right to you today. Yes. I was in Bronx, New York. Mm -hmm. We had a beautiful crowd there. Mm -hmm. Sister came and talked to me from an organization called the Holy Temple. Mm -hmm. She wanted to know, was it wrong? Mm -hmm. I mean, do, if, do, am I wrong if I... We're outside of five colors. Am I just confined to a cotton stocking? I said, won't you ask your bishop? Oh, no. Mm. We can't ask. Lord. Viewers, Lord, you giving all these tithings? You giving all these offers? Mm -hmm. You helping these preachers build churches? Mm -hmm. And you can't question them about what they preach? That's right. Why you got the right to ask questions? Amen. Even the disciples ask Jesus questions. That's right. That's right. What kind of man of God is that? Who? And you can't question him about what he preached. What he if preached. he say he got it from God, mm. he don't mind answering you. That's right. Amen. Hmm. Right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Rule. Rule your dress or skirt five inches from your ankle. Mm -hmm. That's a rule. That's a rule. If somebody's end up six or seven inches, all right. Right. I'm not going to string at a gnat and swallow a camel. Swallow a camel. No. No mother should grab them. That's, that's not five. That's seven. 
Like they're going to measure them for a coffin. <laughs> That's right. We got better things to focus on. Yes. And that's getting your heart right. That's it. That's right. That's right. You don't grab a person to snatch them in the office to see if their hair real. Mm. We're going to preach against wigs. Amen. Like we're supposed to. That's right. And let God clean them up. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I ain't going to sit and meet with no sister and ask you, is your hair real? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to meet with no brother and say, is that your hair? That's no, I'm not. No. I'm going to preach God's word. The word. That's right. And if it's not your hair, hell will make it come off. That's right. Go ahead. Ye blind guides, Do you hear this? in Matthew 23 and verse 24, ye blind guides, with strain at a Listen. net. Listen. Go ahead. The bishops, their objective is mm -hmm. to take the control All right. away from the hands of God. Amen. That's right. And put it in their hands. That's right. God objective is to leave the control into his hands. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? Just enforce scriptural law. Mm -hmm. And then let the people love and respect God enough and themselves enough to bow to that law. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Ye blind gods. I'm not trying to control nobody. No. I don't want to control you. No, no. If you claim you got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, you're supposed to be under the control of God and God's word. That's right. Let God control you. That's right. When God told you, God leads you. That's right. God will guide you into all truth. You will submit to leadership. Yeah. You will submit to the word. We're going to fight with you. That's right. That's right. You're doing willingly. Let every soul be and subject. peaceable. Mm -hmm. You're doing a peaceable manner. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Can you hear what the book says? In Romans 13 and 1, let every soul be subject. Let every soul. Every soul. Be subject unto the higher powers. Hmm? Amen. There are many people came to the church with their second wife and second husband. Mm -hmm. Come on, keep coming. That's right. You that are watching me now got your second wife. You ain't your second wife watching me. Mm -hmm. I see you. Amen. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Mm -hmm. Both of you got to repent. Both of you got to be baptized. Both of you got to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Then leave. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That won't change. That won't change. There's so many people been coming to the church with their second wife. Pastor Jennings, uh, I'm, I'm with my second wife. I, I want to get it right. I tell them, keep coming to church. Come on. That's right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, you, they should not come to church until they get it right. You can't get it right outside of church. Amen. Amen. You got to get it right by coming here. That's right. And being hammered with God's word. That's right. I'll get into water. Oh, they got the axes laid at the roots. Laid at the roots. They got to come where the axe is being swung. Yes, Amen. Come now. What? Come now. Do you hear this? In Isaiah 1 and verse 18. Come when? Come now. Come later. Come now. now. When should that man bring his second wife? Now. Now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. When should that man come out the bar to the church? Now. Yeah. When should that homosexual come to the house of God? Now. Come on. What did the Holy Book say? Come now. Come now. And let us reason together. Come on. Saith the Lord. Come on. That's right. We gonna reason with you with the Scripture. That's right. I ain't gonna pick on you. No reason. The reason why some of you think I'm picking on you is because you're in sin. Mm -hmm. And what we're dealing with is against what you're in. That's it. So right away you say, that Pastor Jennings is mean. He don't like me. No. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God that's against you. Against you. That's right. That's right. 
right. That's why a lot of folk don't mind going to church on Sunday. They know most of the churches they go to, God law ain't be there. No. no. They even got what is called children's church. Wow. Mm. That's right. Children's church. Children's church. Mm. Some of the parishioners get dressed up like Sesame Street. My Lord. To help the children better understand the Bible, they get dressed like Big Bird. <laughs> that Cookie Monster. My Lord. Use cartoons to lead people to Christ. My God. Use plays to lead people to Christ. That's mockery. That's mockery. <laughs> Use the same method that the apostles use. That's right. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Hmm? That's it. When he said, suffer little children, come unto me and give them a cookie monster. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Jesus didn't get dressed like Grover. No, we didn't. Did he do that? No, we didn't. Grover walking on water. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And Jesus called a little child. You churches. You're resorting to modern methods mm. and it's not winning nobody to Christ. No, it's not. Nobody. Nobody. It's just increasing your size congregation, but they're not coming to Christ. That's right. Jesus called a little child unto him. Do you hear that? In Matthew 18 and verse 2. Jesus, Jesus called a little child unto him. Unto him. And set him in the midst of them. And said what? And said, verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children. You shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. No, I gotta put on a play to get the children. Except you be converted and become as little children. Isn't it so? Mm -hmm. To have cartoons on television, biblical cartoons. Biblical cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't so? That's right. A cartoon Jesus. That's right. That's right. Cartoon is fake. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That's right. Be not deceived. I see why the Islamic world mm -hmm. started raging That's right. when someone put out a cartoon about Muhammad. Muhammad, right. Because they knew a cartoon was misrepresentation. That's right. But you don't find the so-called Christians raging no. about a cartoon Jesus. No, no, no. How backward are you? That's right. That's right. A cartoon Jesus. My Lord. A cartoon Moses. My Lord. A cartoon John. My Lord. A cartoon God. My Lord. God is not mocked. There's a sin for a child of God mm -hmm. that go buy a ticket. That go to some so-called Christian play. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's religious mockery. That's right. That's right. When you say Christian in front of something, that means that event is Christ-like. Christ-like. It represents Christ. It's the actions of Christ. That's right. Nothing been added to it. Mm -hmm. Nothing taken. Nothing been taken away from it. Away. That's right. Oh, hey, man. That's right. No lies in that play. No lies are in there. That's true. Mm. The Bible is the script. Yeah. Now, if the Bible is the script, mm -hmm. who among the human family can play the role of Jesus? Play Jesus role. Oh, yeah. That's right. Who? Who? Who can, mm. who can play the role of the perfect one? That's right. Mm. The Muslims raise mm -hmm. when they meet Muhammad a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Christians do opposite. Amen. They take their children to the play, to the theater. They go in there. Look at a cartoon Jesus. That's right. They don't rage. No. You know why? The devil blew the so-called Christian community to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Blew you to sleep, television viewer. That's right. You ought to be insulted. Mm -hmm. To turn a religious program on and there's a cartoon Jesus. Amen. A cartoon God. My Lord. Amen. Cartoon, cartoon. God is not mocked. That's mark. an insult. That's right. 
be not to see. God that made the heavens and the earth, and now he's been dwindled down to nothing but a cartoon. That's right. Jesus done come along and taught his apostles, died on the cross for a bunch of sinful people, and he's been brought down okay. to a cartoon. That's right. Not to see you. And the so-called Christians don't see nothing wrong with it. No. You've been Americanized. Amen. We want to undo what the devil have done. They are drunken. Do you hear it? In Isaiah 29 and verse 9, they are drunken. You're drunk. They stagger. When it comes to the word of God, you're drunk. Drunk. Drunken. Stagger. You're Stagger. all balanced. That's right. You're spiritually incoherent. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're delusional. Yes, that's a delusion. Glory to God. What did he say? Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunk. They are drunken. They are drunken, but not with wine. They're not drunken with wine. They stagger. They stagger. But not with strong but drink. But not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep Do you sleep. Hear that? Amen. Deep sleep. God got them unconscious. That's it. When you got the right spirit, there ain't no Christian plays in churches. No. no. Ain't nobody up here can play the role of Jesus. No way. No way. No Christmas play. No play. There was a big play that came out, I think it was in the late 60s or 70s. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Superstar. You remember that? Right. A musical. A musical. When did Jesus was walking around participating in a musical? My Lord, my Lord. Mockery. That's it. Things that the so-called Christians don't say nothing about. Mm -hmm. But even the Muslims was insulted when they made a cartoon Muhammad. But you so-called Christians, That's right. you are buy a ticket to see a cartoon see. God. That's right. To see a fake God. That's right. You don't love Jesus. You don't love him. He said, if you love me, you are keep my commandments. That's right. There should not be no plays mm. in the church. No, no. No plays. No plays. No plays. No plays. No Christmas is around the corner. All right. Mm. Mm. The devil is the reason for the season. That's right. Not God. Not God. That's right. Christmas is around the corner. Mm -hmm. And the preachers going to have Christmas plays. Yes, they will. And tell that long lingering lie, this is Jesus' birthday. A liar. That's right. Pastor would get dressed up like he's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And his wife would act like she's Mary. That's right. One of the old deacons that had like he's Joseph. Joseph. My Lord, my Lord. Mockery. My people love to have it so. Do you hear? In Jeremiah 5 and verse uh, 31. I want to run to you, viewer. That's right. Run. Get in there, sir. Run. Listen. My people love to have it so. Give the whole verse. Listen at this. The prophets prophesy. Give chapter and verse. Jeremiah chapter 5. We'll start at verse 30. All right. A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful and a horrible thing. Is committed in the land. That took place in the land. The prophets. The messengers. Prophesy falsely. Tell lies. And the priests. That they prophesy I falsely mean they message didn't come from God. That's right. And the priest bear rule by their means. He made himself a preacher. Amen. That's right. And what? And my people love to have it so. God is talking. God is talking. Christians, love to have it. you hear what God said about you? The prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests bear the rule, priest by, bear rule by his means. And my people. And God's people. Love to have it so. You love to have it the wrong way. That's right. Love it. Love it. You love to have it the wrong way. That's right. You will support it. Mm -hmm. Let there be a play that somebody's supposed to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't care how large that place is. Right. They have lines all around the corner. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Going so far as getting dressed up like they Jesus carrying crosses My Lord. down the streets of Jerusalem. That's right. My Lord. Around Christmas time. That's right. Some of them carry crosses and then want another to beat them. Why can't you take this beating? Amen. That's right. That's right. They get dressed like they Jesus <laughs> and walk down the streets of their neighborhood. Oh my God. Jesus ain't in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina walking down the street. No, no, no. 
But you'll find the church is here. Christmas come around, Reeves all on the door, dirty plastic mangers, and a bunch of sinners singing Christmas carols, Christmas carols. lying on his birthday. That's right. Come on, Sammy, this is his birthday. You're lying about That's it. That's right. That's right. You're telling a lie. That's right. Bible ain't said that's his birthday. No, no. You're lying on him about that, about that birthday. This is a rebellious people. What kind? Rebellious people. That goes for any minister up here. Right. All right. All right. That's right. Right. Rebellious. There ain't no Christmas here. No. no Christmas for America. No Christmas for Africa. That's right. No Christmas for India. No Christmas for South America. No Christmas for Russia. No, nothing. Nothing. That's right. Go ahead, brother. No giving your gifts to no children. None of that. That's right. That's right. No Christmas seminar. No. That's right. Go ahead. Man. No tree in your house. No, no tree. tree in a church. No Christmas service. Amen. Amen. No Christmas dinner. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Watch the food, Pastor. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Watch the food. Am I? Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. <laughs> If you didn't know no better, you're not held accountable. No. But I ask you now, mm -hmm. you might as well give up them gifts. Mm -hmm. Pastor, what should I do if I bought the gifts? Take the receipt and take it back. Take it back. The book says, happy is the man that condemn not himself in the thing in which he allowed. That's right. You're not supposed to allow nothing you can be condemned by. Amen. I ain't gonna lead people to Christ for that Christmas tree, with you heathen. liar. That's right. Use a heathen. That's a heathen. That's, that's right. not a preacher, that's a heathen. heathen. And the book says, learn, learn, learn not, the way, not the, the way of the heathen. Of the heathen. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You preachers that's writing me from around the world, mm -hmm. telling me you want to be a part of First Church. Hmm. Come on. I'm not impressed. That's right. There's terms lead. Right. It's plain and simple. Yes. God's way mm -hmm. or no way. Or no way. That's right. No compromising. No compromising. They contact us from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. They contact us from Greece. Mm -hmm. pa Pakistan, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Philippines. One law. One law. God's way or no way. Or no way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not the way of Geno Jennings. No. God's way. Mm -hmm. Or no way. Well, Pastor Jennings, I, I'm scared to change my, my congregation to get upset. God's way. That's right. Or no way. No way. Well, if I change my wife or leave me. God's way. That's right. Or no way. The way of holiness. Well, if I change my wife said I got to be a eunuch. God's way. That's right. Or no way. That's right. If I don't change my wife said. I, I, I can't have none. God way right. or no way. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. The way of holiness. I don't care if your bed become Antarctica. That's right. It's God's way mm -hmm. or no way. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. It's God's way. God's way <laughs> or no way. That's right. I hear you. I hear you. When your wife can manipulate your preaching, get out the pulpit. That's right. Am I right, man? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Hoorah. Hoorah. That's right. You precious? Go ahead. When your wife can manipulate the pulpit, Amen. you're good for nothing. That's right. Get out from up here. They that have wives be as though they had none. Do you hear the apostles' advice? In 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 29. But this I say, brother. This I say. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. The time is short. The time is short. It remains. It remains. That both they that have wives. You that got a wife. Be as though they had none. You got to live like you don't have none. That's right. When the word of God is preached, don't go passing it around pass to it pass around. by your wife. Amen. If she's wrong, tell her she's wrong. That's right. That's right. Your wife should not be calling the shots no. in the church. Oh, no. Preach it, brother. Preach it. 
ahead. Go ahead, brother. Your wife don't reprimand the folk in the church. That's right. Preach it, brother. All my people. You don't stop preaching because your wife give you the eye. No, no. No. That's right. They that have wives be as though they had none. If you're married, you gotta preach like you don't have no wife. That's right. This I say, brother. Huh? That's right. He said, this I say, brother. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. The time is short. This I say, brother. This I say, brother. Don't take God, the time is short. It remains. It remains. That both they that, that have wives. They that have wives. Be as though be they like had you don't none. have none. That's right. Be like you don't have none. Preach the word. Here it is time for you to preach. Go ahead. And your wife wants to take, want you to take her to dinner. Go ahead. And you got to struggle with a choice. Amen. Get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Get out. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You gonna pass God's word for chicken? The chicken. Amen. You gonna pass God's word for ham? My Lord. For potatoes? My Lord. Get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Am I right? That's right. That's right. This I say, brethren. This I say, brethren. The time is short. It's short. It remains, it remains. that both they you have got wives, got wife. be as though they had you none. You got to preach like you ain't got none. That's right. Go ahead. If you never touch her breast again, go ahead. Man. As a result of the message, go ahead. then live without it. Live without it. Or go to hell with it. That's right. Oh, ye priests, this is either you're for God mm -hmm. or you ain't fit to be a preacher. That's right. That's right. And you got these men. I think I want to try a ministry. They just got money in mind. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And now, oh ye priests. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. Your wife should not be. Hey, you, you had a watching. Go you know that's going on in your church. Go the ahead. first lady, Go ahead. your pastor wife, mm -hmm. she dictate what's going on in the church. Right. Go ahead. Pastor wife ain't got nothing to dictate what's going on in the church. No. Don't let the pastor's wife be the treasurer. That's right. Go ahead. It's good teaching, brother. Don't let the pastor's wife be the treasurer. Amen. Let somebody else be. Somebody else be. Get some other members involved. That's right. And stop keeping the money in your family. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right? Amen. Go ahead. Are right, you listen to the old man? But if you have respect of persons, ye commit sin. Go ahead, go ahead. I want to run to you. That's right. You're running. That's right. This is old fashioned church. Old fashioned. Mm. When it comes to the word of God, my wife knows she don't have no say so in the pulpit. That's right. And she knows she don't have no so this is off limits. That's right. She knows that's not her territory. Mm -hmm. This is off limits. Oh, yeah. The yellow tape is across it. The tape is up. That's right. <laughs> off limits. That's right. Out of bounds. This is out of bounds. Out of bounds. You men watching me, you got a PhD and a DD. Mm -hmm. But yet, a method that you use of luring mm -hmm. people in your church. Mm -hmm. You get on television with your wife. That's right. That's right. The message, you shouldn't have to show off your wife. No. To get people. No. Let the message bring them in. That's right. That's right. I ain't got to show off my wife to get nobody. No. If I got to do that, I'm going to have to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. And Preach then the they word. ain't going to come for the word. They're going to come to see that wife. See the wife. That's true. Huh? That's right. Preach the word. Listen at this. In 2 Timothy 4 and at verse 1. You first lady churches. Mm -hmm. I charge you people. Wake up. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. My God, we're trying to give you some good Holy Ghost sins here. That's right. What is that? I charge thee therefore before God. What? And the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing at his kingdom. What was the advice of the apostle? Preach. Train your wife. Preach the word. Preach the word. That's right. That's right. When you are preaching, you got to go labor in the word of God. If your wife can't go with you, you will go anyway. Amen. Amen. 
See, so they had me. Your wife can't be there, you will go. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Be as though they had none. Your wife can't be there, you will go. Amen. Mm. Wife say, well, you know, my mother want me, wants you to come over to the house. Well, look, we got to be at church tonight. Well, let's go to church another time. That shouldn't come out the mouth of a holy woman. That's right. That should never come out the mouth of a holy woman. That's right. No, you go see your mother another time. Another time. You put God first and let him stay there. Amen. Go ahead. Always put God first. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to me? Yes. Amen. Always put God first. That's right. Everything you got is because of God. Amen. He deserves your complete life Go ahead. and your complete commitment. That's right. When it comes to God, the whole world Come is on. a whole. That's right. Everything is a whole. Mm -hmm. Why? You're nothing but a sacrifice. That's all. That's all. And he said, present your body a living sacrifice. Living sacrifice. Hold it. If you're fasting, brother, and your wife wants you to lay to her, wants you to lay with her, you shouldn't break your fast. That's right. You shouldn't break your fast. That's true. For the matter, she looks so good, she looks like a golden egg. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Shouldn't break your fast. That ye may give yourselves the fasting and prayer. Did the word say give yourself to it. That's right. And if she's a holy woman and got the right spirit, she'll respect your fast. Yeah. Mm. Won't tempt you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Go ahead. She see that you're fasting, mm. she keep Victoria's secret in the drawer. Right. Amen. Then when your fast is over, ooh, whip it out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Whip it out, I say. <laughs> oh, thank God. Amen. You get what I'm telling you. Go ahead. Give yourself the fast. That time and a season. That's right. Amen. Give me the third chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. Yeah. I want to run to you, viewer. Yes. I want to teach you something. Listen, you might as well stay home because you're having church now. That's right. You might as well stay home. Oh, that God, this is the greater thing. Listen at this. In Listen at Solomon. In Ecclesiastes 3 and at verse 1. To everything there is a season. To everything. Everything. There is a, a season. And a time. And a time. To every purpose under the heaven. Jesus said, render to Caesar the things that are that Caesar. Are Caesar's. And render to God the things that are God. That are God's. That's right. There's a time. Mm -hmm. A time to embrace. What? A time to embrace. And what else? And a time to refrain from. Know when to let go. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Time to embrace. That's right. Let time to refrain. Refrain. Mm -hmm. A time to get. A time to get. And a time to lose. <laughs> There's a time to get your wife. <laughs> That's right. And at the time you got to lose what you get. That's right. Got to go without it at times. Yeah. A time to keep. <laughs> time to keep. And a time to cast away. And the time you got to reject it. That's right. Mm -hmm. mm. I got you, brother, getting dressed for church. Mm -hmm. Go to the house of God, even if you're not a preacher. That's right. And your wife don't feel like going. Mm -hmm. You go. That's right. You shouldn't be so weak that you say, well, I need, I need you to go, baby, so I can feel that support. Feel the support. Your dedication should be towards God, mm -hmm. whether she go or not. That's you right. automatically going. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. My wife, no. Because I, she, she don't, she's not in most of the places I'm going. She can. can't. Right. I got seven kids and I'm traveling around the world. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I was the type of man. Well, you know, I really need you to be there so I can have that support. Oh, That's right. What about God? Mm -hmm. A person being there don't mean you got they, they, you got their support. No. You can have a person support fasting and praying for you way somewhere else. That's right. More than a person sitting right in your face. That's right. God, as long as you're fasting and praying for the old man, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. When you're able to be there, fine. When you're not, all right, I got to go. 
That's I right. got the checker flag been waving. I'm off. Amen. I got to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To everything there is a season. When we send brothers somewhere, many times their wife won't be there with them. Amen. Send a brother somewhere to go minister. Why would a brother shouldn't call me a pastor again and listen? I can't go. I got to take my wife out to dinner. Huh? Amen. Huh? <laughs> I got to take my wife out to what? And Barak said unto her, Wait a minute, you can't go. Yeah, man, listen. Man, listen, you don't know my wife. If I don't take her out that day, I'm telling you, she'll never let me live it down. What about God? That's right. What about God? True. They fear the wife more than they do God. That's true. Amen. That's true. In Judges I want to take my time and soak it. Amen. In Judges chapter 4. It's getting hot up here. Yes. That's right. It's getting hot up here. Amen. Turn it up. I want to turn up the heat. Turn it up. Glory to God. That's right. Listen. In Judges chapter 4 and at verse 8. <laughs> Listen, get chapter verse again. Judges chapter 4 and at verse 8. What is it? And Barak said unto her. Barak said to her. If thou wilt go with me. If you go with me. Then I will go. Then I go. But if thou wilt not go with me. And if you won't go with me. Then I will not go. That's the spirit of Barak. That's right. You go with me, I'll go. Amen. Honey, you going to church tonight? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going. Oh, uh, man. I really was looking for you to go tonight. <laughs> right. Honey, I'm tired. I don't feel like I, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Man. Why in the world are you distraught? <laughs> distraught. Get washed, get your clothes on, and get out of there. Get out of here. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead. Ah. That's right. Glory to God. If thou wilt go with me. If you will go with me. Then I will go. Then I'll go. But if thou will not go with me, <laughs> then I will not go. You see, everything can't be a preacher. Uh, no. No. That's everything right. Everything can't be a preacher. No way. It's more than standing behind this block of wood, block of wood. and saying words. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God is more than that. More than Pay that. attention, viewer. Mm -hmm. How you read, I'm running to you. Running to you. Just like Philip ran to the unit because you're reading. That's right. You're reading and you're not understanding. And if the preachers understood the junk that is going on freely that he allowed, mm -hmm. he would not allow it. That's right. It wouldn't be a first lady in your congregation. No. No, no. Uh, I hope none of the brothers' wives dictating the churches in the area. No, sir. No, sir. Amen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your wife can't even reprove none of the men in the church. That's right. Not a place. Not, not a, mm -hmm. If the pastor wife, if the minister wife get wrong openly, mm -hmm. he is to chastise her Open. openly. Openly. That's right. If he can't chastise her openly, mm -hmm. when she got wrong openly, don't you bother nobody else. Nobody else. Amen. That's right. Don't you bother nobody else. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even the mothers in the church mm -hmm. got the right to correct the preacher's wife if she wrong. That's right. If she get wrong, the mothers can pull her to the side. That's right. Hey, sister. Mm -hmm. Sister. Amen. Blah, blah, blah. Yak it, smack it, blah, blah, blah. That's right. Yak it, smack it. Amen. That's right. Doesn't matter if she's a she's... minister's wife. Mm hmm. That doesn't matter. Huh? That's right. Don't matter at all. The aged women likewise. You hear the book? In Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged women. Likewise. Likewise. That they be in behavior. That they behave. Now before the mothers can give correction, you know how to act. You know how to act. Don't you be walking around smelling like rum and whiskey. That's right. Drinking vodka and orange juice. Mm hmm that's right. Eh? Amen. Don't you be so we're casting ancient spells, working in black magic. Yeah. And you claim you are mother in the mother. church. Amen. You're the child of hell. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. I want this to be good for you that are watching in Jamaica and listening to our Africa. Amen. Where black magic is an all-time high. Yeah. 
Go ahead, brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. What is it? The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. What? Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. But you mean not too much wine. All you got to do is go to the book where they use wine. Use wine. They said wine is a mark and strong drink is raging yeah. and he that is deceived thereby is not wise. That's right. Now, if you got a stomach condition that says drink no longer water but use a little. A little wine. A little wine for the stomach sake. Mm-hmm. Then wine is used in Lord's Supper. That's right. Otherwise than that wine is not used. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. A little wine. A fifth is not a little. A fifth. A quart is not a little. That's not a little. Your wine shouldn't be in the brown paper bag. No. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want this to be good for you apostolic drunks, drunks. that are watching. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, son. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. Teachers. Now, the mothers or the aged women teach good things. Who, who are they supposed to teach? That they may teach the young women. There it is. Mm-hmm. Young women. Young women don't give the mothers back talk word for word. No. Listen at what the young women got to say as much as listen at what the mothers got to say. That's right. That's right. Mothers shouldn't go by hearsay. No. No. And then jump the gun. Mm-hmm. And if a sister go and confide in you, don't broadcast their business. All right. Amen. Otherwise, than that, they lose confidence in you. That's right. That's right. This is old fashioned holiness. Oh, yes. Do what? That they may teach the young women how to be what? To be sober. Be stable minded. To love their husbands. Love the husband. Well, you teach a young woman that who don't know it. Who don't know it. A young woman already know it. She don't need that teaching. That's right. Because she know it already. That's right. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. What else? To love their children. Love their children. To and in the midst of loving your children, that bring in discipline. That's right. Correction. Mm-hmm. Discipline and correction. That's right. Tell them what is right. Yeah. What is not right. Mm-hmm. Lay down law to them. And the mother got the right to expect for them to obey it. That's right. Amen. Children don't want to obey their parents. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be under that roof. You shouldn't be under there. You should be on your own. Right. Amen. Have your own roof. Yeah. Then make your own law. That's right. Otherwise, the next you got to obey. Got to obey. God promised you long life under one law. Mm-hmm. You honor your father and mother. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Fathers, don't trash talk your wife to your children. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Wife, don't trash talk your husband to your children. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. To love their children. To love your children. To be discreet. Be discreet. Chase. Clean. Keepers at home. Be a clean woman. Mm-hmm. Know how to keep your house. Good. Be good. That's right. Huh? That's right. A good woman. Mm-hmm. When you're a good woman, everybody don't appreciate a good woman. No. Mm-mm. No, every man don't appreciate a good woman. Every woman don't appreciate a good man. That's right. Many of those things are abused and misused. Yeah. Read quick so I can quit. Obedient to their own husbands. And what? That the word of God be not blasphemed. It says obedient to who? Their own husbands. Well, hold it. Their own. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Amen. Because one scripture says, husbands, mm-hmm. cause not your wife to sin. To sin. That's right. But yet it says obedient to who? To their own husbands. Oh, they're telling us something wrong. That's right. That's right. Then they're going to cause her to sin. Cause her to sin. That's right. You ain't got to sin for nobody. No. Hmm? That's what I mean by right dividing. Yeah. The word of truth. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? Right to make the scriptures harmonize. It says what? Obedient to their own husbands. Wait a minute. Husband may want you to worship Harry Krishna. Right. Husband now may want you to be a Buddhist. That's right. Hmm. Well, if you got a second husband, you ain't got to obey him at all. Amen. 
Not your husband. But I don't know your first husband living. That's right. It says what there? Obedient to your own husband. Suppose the husband may be a sinner and want her to go someplace that's unrighteous. Mm. To a party. To a club. That's true. So you got to write about this. Divide. That's right. Before someone jump up, obeying all things, mean obeying all things. Wait a minute. Amen. And a right divided because God is a God of righteousness. That's right. That's right. And it written, husbands, mm -hmm. cause not your wife to sin. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Pay attention. Pay attention. Husband may want you to get him some beer. Mm -hmm. Husband may want you to roll him some weed. Yeah. Husband may want you to heat up his crack pipe. Mm -hmm. Husband may want you to stash that dope money. That's right. Husband may, may want you to call in at the job and say, I'm sick, and he ain't. Mm -hmm. Husband may want you to cheat on the income tax form. That's right. But the book says, That's obedient to their own husbands. That's you see what I mean? You just can't quote a scripture and leave it like that? Leave it like that. You got to split the atom and see what kind of molecules is in there. That's right. That's the violence. Do what? Obedient to their own husbands. Husband may want them to help them hotwire a car. That's right. Husband may want her to be the lookout while he breaking somebody's house. Amen. Mm. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's true. Quotation. Without divine interpretation. Yeah. You will end up with damnation. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters.